Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Coach Gabby here today with four awesome moves that are gonna help improve hip mobility as well as stability, range of motion. This also helps um, uh, fight against sciatica pain, lower back pain, lots of good things going on here. So let's get into it. We are going to be doing three sets. The first one where I talk you through what we're doing as I do it with you. And then set number two and three, less talking, more doing. We go straight through the routine together. All right, starting with our first exercise, we have a sumo squat. So a little bit of a dynamic um, exercise stretch to start us off. We have a wide stance. Toes are pointed outwards, all right? And then we're going to bend our knees and come down. This is our sumo squat. Knees go out to the side, not forward, all right? We're making sure we're rolling our legs backwards, all right? Keep being a nice straight back, all right, and then coming back up, all right, and back down. And that is our sumo squat. 30 seconds on the clock. Big breath. All right, in starting position, very good. And let's go. You can have your hands out in front of you, on your hips, out to the side, up to work your arms and shoulders a little bit more, but that's up to you, all right? But really going as low as you comfortably can while still in good form and good posture, which is those cues that I talked about in the beginning, all right? So making sure that your knees are coming out sideways. Your back is nice and straight, all right? We're not hunched over. We're not arched like this, all right? Nice straight back, all right? Very good. And if you want to hold it just here, you want to just hold it in the sumo, sumo position. You can even put your hands on your knees if you feel comfortable and kind of stretch it out like this. All right, stretching it out wider if you can. Very good. If not, go ahead, go for those squats. And three, two, one, and come up. Very good, coming back to center and shaking it out, awesome job. Next, we have a runner's lunge, and don't worry, I'll give you different variations, some modifications here. All right, we're gonna start with our foot forward. All right, bring our hands down, our foot goes backwards, and then we come into a lunge, all right? My front knee is right on top of my ankle, okay? It's not behind it, and it's not in front of it, all right? Right on top, okay? And this is the runner's lunge. If this is too much for you, go ahead and start out kneeling. All right, and put your foot forward and then just press your hips forward like this. All right, if that feels good, you can put your hands down. All right, you can start, you know, curl your toe back there and then start extending it little by little. All right, and if going down on your knees is not an option for you, no worries. Go ahead, start with your feet together. Put one foot forward, all right. Our feet are, um, are pointed forward, okay? So no toes going off to the side. And then hands on your hips, and with a straight back, just come on down like this, and you'll feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings, and um, that'll help your hips as well. All right, so different variations there for you. Pick which one is good for you. We're gonna do one side and then the other, 30 seconds. Big breath. And let's go. Getting into position, whichever one works best for you and then enjoying that pose, all right? And if staying in that pose for 30 seconds, whichever one it is, is too much, go ahead and go for a few seconds and then, you know, maybe come out of it a little bit, rest, you know, regroup, and then go back into it, okay? You could hear in the runner's lunge, you could put your knee down a little bit instead of a straight leg. You can come up, all right? Whole bunch of different ways to do this. And three. Two, one, very good, come out of that stretch. Go ahead, set up for the other side, and 30 seconds, let's go. Remember to breathe in your nose, out your mouth, very good, super important. While exercising, especially while stretching, um, Try to go deeper with each exhale. That kind of loosens it up a little bit, allowing you to go deeper into the stretch. Very good. And three, two, one, coming down and out of that beautiful stretch. Awesome job. We're coming down to the floor gently at your own pace and doing a butterfly stretch, all right? So sitting on our bum, our feet are together, all right? 
feet together, hold onto those feet, and then here is our butterfly position. And we can do some butterfly pulses, but not too much. If you feel pain with these pulses, then um, definitely don't do those. We usually don't recommend pulsing in stretches. Just remember that we do not recommend pulsing in other stretches, but for this one, it's kind of hard to feel a stretch sometimes. So it's okay to lightly pulse with some butterfly wings here. Or instead of pulsing, you can go ahead and go forward with a straight back, all right? Putting your elbows here on your knees to push them down towards the ground and then coming forward with a straight back, all right? Two different options of doing that for you, all right? Big breath, 30 seconds, and let's go. Ready. And try to keep your feet closer to your body, all right? It's okay if they're a little bit further out, if you can't get them closer to your body, but coming closer will help stretch out those hips. Very good. 10 more seconds. Breathing, very good. Straight back, push those, uh, those shoulders away from your ears. Push them back, very good. In three, two, one, and come up with a straight back. Very good, go ahead, stay right where you are and just extend those legs into a straddle position, all right? So towards the corners of your mats, if you don't have a mat, that's fine. Just go ahead. Open those legs up to a straddle position. And if this is good enough for you, if you feel something right here, go ahead, stay right here. If not, go ahead, put your hands on the ground and we're gonna walk forward. All right, walk forward with as straight a back as you can. All right, and enjoy the stretch in that way. Remember to try to keep your, your legs rolled backwards. It's easy to start rolling them forward like this as we go forward, but we wanna keep them rolled backwards, all right? So your feet shouldn't be coming forward too much like this. Go ahead, roll them back, all right? We want them sticking up in the air. Um, if going forward makes you roll your, your, um, your legs in too much, then go ahead and just stay here and reach towards your feet. Instead of reaching forward, re reach towards your feet and kind of hold them back a little bit and then just go forward with a straight back. All righty, there's our straddle stretch. Big breath and begin, very good. Remember to try to keep as straight back as possible. Of course, you're, it's natural to curve a little bit, but instead of curving like, th like this, try to go with a straight back down like this. So keep your chin up, your chest up, and that'll help. Very good. Also, if instead of going forward, if you want here, you can do some, some side reaches. This feels really, really good. So working on one side and then the other. All right, instead of center, if that's just not for you today, that's fine. These side reaches are also really great. I especially love doing this in the morning. I'm just saying that because it's morning here in Florida. So good morning to anyone else joining me in the AM. All righty, and three. Two, one, if you're reaching forward, go ahead, walk it back slowly up, roll those shoulders back. And there we have it, our four moves to, uh, to improve hip mobility, stability, range of motion, back, all this stuff. Um, go ahead, take a second, grab some water, and we're gonna do it again. Alrighty, set number two, I zip it. We just go straight through the routine. We have our sumo squats, all right? Then we have our runner's lunge on each leg. Then we have our butterfly stretch, all right? A butterfly stretch and then our straddle stretch to finish us off, all right? If you weren't with us for the first set, I gave different variations and modifications. All right, so starting with our sumo squat. Big breath, wide stance, 30 seconds, and let's go. And 
three, two, one, and come up, very good. Big breath. <sighs> Runner's lunge, 30 seconds, one side, and let's go. Three, two, one. Gently come out of that stretch. Prepare for the other side and let's go. And three, two, one. Gently coming out of the stretch and down to your bum. Very good. Feet together. Butterfly stretch. Big breath. And let's go. And three, two, one. Very good, coming up, extending those legs. Very good, big breath. All righty, and 30 seconds. Where you can stretch forward or go ahead, do some side stretches or both. Three, two, one, and come up, roll those shoulders back, big breath. And there we have it, two sets done, awesome job. Grab that water, take a second, and then we're gonna do set number three. All right, my beautiful people, I hope those hips are feeling great. We're gonna finish it off strong with the third set. All right, starting with that sumo squat. All right, big breath. <sighs> Wide stance, all right, 30 seconds, and let's go. And three, two, one, and come up, very good. Big breath, <sighs> runner's lunge. 30 seconds, one side, and let's go. And three, two, one. Gently come out of that stretch. Prepare for the other side and let's go. And 
in three, two, one. Gently coming out of the stretch and down to your bum. Very good. Feet together, butterfly stretch. Big breath and let's go. And three, two, one. Very good, coming up, extending those legs. Very good, big breath. Alrighty, and 30 seconds. Maybe you can stretch forward or go ahead, do some side stretches. And three, two, one, and come up, roll those shoulders back, big breath. <sighs> Alrighty, that was it. Three sets of four amazing moves to help improve your hip mobility. I hope you loved it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And then don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, go check out our other videos. Tell us what you wanna see more of in the comments, all right? Do it all, show us some love, and I hope to see you on the next one.